Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series of Basic Electrical Engineering Lab. So today we will be discussing our next experiment of this lab which is verification of maximum power transfer theorem. So before moving on to the verification let us understand as to what maximum power transfer theorem states. Basically maximum power transfer theorem states that the load draws maximum power from the source when the load resistance is equal to the internal resistance of the source. So for verification of maximum transfer theorem our main aim would be to show that maximum power is being drawn when we have kept RTH equal to RL meaning we have kept the load resistance equal to the internal resistance of the circuit. For doing that, let us consider a simple circuit which comprises of voltage source, a resistance RTH and a load resistance RL. So this arrow symbol indicates that this RL here is variable in nature. All right. And these are your ammeter and voltmeter which are being connected in series and parallel respectively for measurement of load current flowing across RL and the voltage across our load resistance RL. So now the question arises why do we need these two values as to why do we need IL and VL so that we can easily find out the power consumed by the load which can be found out with the help of formula PL is equals to IL into VL. Alright, so what I have done here for step 1 is I have drawn this same circuit onto my breadboard. You can clearly see here this is my voltage supply which is here which I have kept it at 5 volts. Alright, I have one resistance RTH which is here and I have another resistance RL which is here. So as we proceed further into the verification what I am going to do is I am going to take three cases for this which is case number one, two and three. So in case number one what I am going to do I am going to keep RL less than RTH. In case number 2, I am going to keep RL equal to RTH and in case number 3, what I am going to do is, I am going to keep RL more than RTH. So, for this experiment, your RTH would remain same, meaning the internal resistance of the circuit would remain same, only the load resistance would vary and in each case, we will find out the power delivered to the load. If the power delivered to the load is maximum in case of case number 2 wherein RL is equals to RTH we will be able to say that our maximum power transfer theorem has been verified. To the next step let us jot down the observation table. So in observation table these are the various data which we need for verification of maximum power transfer theorem. First of all, we will be needing the value of RL. So in case number 1, I have kept RL equals to 100 ohms. Alright. And we will have to evaluate VL and IL practically with the help of a, a meter and a voltmeter here. Here you can clearly see that this is this multimeter is acting as a voltmeter because it is being connected in parallel to RL and this multimeter is being connected in series with the RL therefore it will be giving us the value of load current through this resistors and also the dials of multimeter have to be set to current as well as voltage positions respectively and this is your power and this will be your RTH. So my RTH here in this case is this one which is equal to 220 ohms. Alright, so let us now switch on our supply and check what is the value of 
current and voltages respectively so the value of current here is 15.02 milli amperes and the value of voltage is approximately 1.48 volts for which case for case number one wherein rl is equal to 100 ohms moving on to case number two here i have replaced rl with a resistance equal to 220 ohms and rth has been kept constant which is 220 ohms so the resulting voltage and currents are 2.42 volts and 10.97 ampere all right similarly for third case i'll be replacing my rl with a value which is higher than rth yes. The value of RL I have taken here is 330 ohms and RTH has been kept constant and you can clearly see the variation in voltages and current. So the current is coming out to be 8.98 milli amperes and the voltage is coming out to be 2.89 volts. In the next step for evaluation of power consumed by the load what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these two values or you can also use the formula I square RL so now we have both these values VL and IL so I'm going to use the formula VL into IL and I can clearly see here that in first case the power is coming out to be 22.22 in third case it is coming out to be 25.95 but in the case number two wherein RTH was 220 volts ohms and RL was also 220 ohms we are getting a power of 26.54 milliwatt meaning that we are getting maximum power only when RTH is equal to RL hence our maximum power transfer theorem has been verified.